Steel is the universal industrial material. Whether for energy generation, mobility, infrastructure or a multitude of other products, steel is omnipresent in our lives. Steel production is energy intensive. In terms of procedures, there is basically nothing that can be changed. The globally established blast furnace route is already operating to maximum efficiency here, while CO2 emissions are high. Consequently, we had to find a new way of low emission steel production that could be implemented in a timely manner. In other words, without decades of research. As the first steel producer, we opted for a path from the outset that is now finding more and more supporters throughout the industry. With the Zalcos technology concept we have developed, our aim is to avoid the generation of CO2 as early as the steel production process in the future. Hydrogen plays the decisive role here. This is because it can replace coke and coal in the production of iron from iron ore, drastically reducing CO2 emissions. The hydrogen, in turn, is to be produced in a climate-neutral manner by means of electrolysis harnessing electricity from renewable energies, such as wind power. With the process of direct reduction, Production. Initially flexibly operated with hydrogen and shares of natural gas, the oxygen is removed from the ore. The so-called reduction is carried out. In this process, the iron ore is converted to iron in solid form, so-called sponge iron. The sponge iron is then melted in electric arc furnaces. With our Zalcos technology concept, we have described in detail the sophisticated transformation process for the integrated steelworks in Zalzgitter. Zalcos will enable us to avoid 95% of today's CO2 emissions in the future. By implementing the concept, we will be able to secure the future viability of the steel location and its jobs at the same time. We are now recognized as a pioneer in the decarbonization of the steel industry. Joining forces with its partners Avacon and Linda, the Salzgitter Group has taken a concrete step towards low CO2 steel production. On October 30, 2018, Salzgitter Flakstahl, Avacon and Linda signed a contract for a promising project with the aim of generating hydrogen by means of PEM electrolysis harnessing electricity from wind power. By April 2020, construction work on the foundations for all seven wind turbines had been completed. Each foundation consists of 82 tons of steel, 2,100 tons of concrete and 2,000 tons of earth fill. The delivery of all the required components was a genuine logistics challenge. Special and heavy-duty transports delivered the individual elements of the wind turbines to Salzgitter. The lower segments arrived in three individual parts each, which were subsequently assembled on site to form the finished segment. And the transport of the 67-meter-long rotor blades also represented a logistics highlight. Only a self-propelled modular transporter, or SPMT for short, was able to transport the individual blades within the factory premises to the individual wind turbine locations. Our joint project, Windwäscherstoff Salzgitter, represents an important step towards a hydrogen-based steel industry. This means that we will soon be having hydrogen made in Salzgitter at our disposal. Here on the Hüttengelände in Salzgitter, here on the Salzgitter smelting work site, Salzgitter AG is realizing the first industrial sector coupling between regenerative energy generation, hydrogen production and an industrial consumer at one single location with the Windwäscherstoff Salzgitter project. Together with our partner Avacon AG, we have installed seven wind turbines. The 2.5 megawatt PEM electrolysis plant will be used to fully cover the current hydrogen demand of this site. Den gegenwärtigen Wasserstoffbedarf dieses Standortes vollständig zu decken.
The approval processes were also complex due to the fact that the wind farm is a unique installation. This was the first time that such facilities were built on the site of an integrated steelworks which entails special potential hazards and necessitated the observance of special regulations. Around 200 conditions imposed by the approval authorities had to be adhered to. The cost of the entire project, the construction of the wind turbines and the hydrogen plants including the necessary infrastructure, add up to around 50 million euros. Avacon is the owner and operator. Each wind turbine consists of six individual segments, tipping the scales at between 55 and 200 tons. The nacelle and the drivetrain together weigh in at around 100 tons. Each rotor blade weighs another 15 tons. After completion, each wind turbine will reach a total height of 237 meters to the blade tip. The skyline of the integrated steelworks has changed. The seven wind turbines, topping out at almost 170 meters with their rotating rotor blades, symbolize the shift towards low CO2 steel industry. They are currently the largest turbines of their kind and deliver a total output of around 30 megawatts. That's the equivalent of about 40,000 horsepower. Green hydrogen holds tremendous potential to make significant contributions towards achieving our ambitious climate protection goals. And the German government's national hydrogen strategy is providing additional key impetus here, which we emphatically welcome. In line with this strategy, the joint project of Salzgitter AG with Linda and Avacon is likewise pointing the way forward. A modern wind farm generates green electricity, which is converted into green hydrogen and then employed directly on site in steel production, replacing fossil fuels. In joining forces, we have implemented an industrial beacon project for the decarbonization of the steel industry. The core of the Windwasserstoff Salzgitter project is the PEM electrolysis plant. The facility enables hydrogen to be produced in quantities of around 400 standard cubic meters per hour. The PEM electrolysis plant was built at a central location on the factory premises. The pure water required for this purpose is sourced from the group's own plant, which treats the industrial water from the steelworks. In addition to the hydrogen, the oxygen produced during electrolysis can also be used operationally if necessary. A hydrogen infrastructure already exists in Salzgitter and is supplying the bell annealing and hot dip galvanizing plants. Sustainability and climate protection take top priority for Linde. Consequently, we are very pleased to be supporting Salzgitter AG together with Avacon in taking the first step towards green steel production. The project makes significant contributions to reducing CO2 emissions. Here, on location, green hydrogen will soon be produced directly from wind energy, thereby setting the course for the Zalkos project of the future. Our project partner Linde is involved in the wind hydrogen project primarily in terms of securing the hydrogen supply and is operating a hydrogen storage facility on the site. PEM stands for Proton Exchange Membrane. This is a technically proven process in which protons migrate through a membrane by applying an electrical voltage. In the process, water splits into its components hydrogen and oxygen. 
Das, was wir hier erleben, ist eine Pionierleistung. What we are witnessing here is a pioneering achievement. It is the first visible step towards the implementation of our Zalkos concept. That is Salzgitter low carbon dioxide steel making, which, via an intermediate stage in 2030, will ultimately enable us to reduce our CO2 emissions at this location by 95% in 2050. I am firmly convinced that we will succeed. Ich bin überzeugt, dass wir das schaffen werden.